Hey guys, how's it going? Now we recently put out a video talking about some of the best laptops that you can buy under rupees fifty thousand, and as it happens, a lot of you guys actually like that video. Now, as it turns out, a lot of you guys are also students, and obviously, fifty thousand mark makes a lot of sense for you guys. Now, if you're buying a new laptop, that video obviously makes a lot of sense. But then I decided to make another video talking about some of the best apps that can really enhance your student life and really boost up your productivity. Apps that will help you store data, act as smart as Jarvis. Well, this is Varun from Guiding Day, and let's get started. Okay, so kicking things off, we have one note from Microsoft. See, my go-to recommendation for a note-taking app on my Android device is Google Keep. But when it comes to Windows, there is no better app for students, especially than OneNote. Microsoft OneNote comes with a wide array of features for capturing information and managing notes. You can type in notes, insert pictures, videos, tables, and more to structure and connect your ideas in an efficient manner. It's all designed in a notebook manner and helps you organize your stuff very well. Add to that, if you're using a two-in-one laptop with a stylus, you can use it just as a proper notebook instead of wasting pages. Moving on, cloud storage is obviously very, very essential in today's world, and for that, we have two different options. The go-to option is OneDrive, which comes pre-installed on your Windows machine and syncs perfectly with your OneNote app as well. That said, the free plan only comes with five GB of space available. Which can get filled up quite rapidly depending upon your use case. As such, the other option is Google Drive, which also has a dedicated app for your Windows PC. The backups are done automatically. You can even select the folders that you want to backup, and it offers 15 GB of space in the free plan. Speaking of Google, it goes without saying that Google is by far one of the most used service by any student out there. But what if I told you that there's a better alternative out there, something that can actually solve all of your queries? Enter Wolfram Alpha. Their AI is just amazing, and you can use it to get answers to various questions and do quick conversions for you in no time. The most obvious use cases are when you're trying to convert between different units, calculating time or distance between two places, general knowledge, or whatnot. Instead of listing out articles like Google search, Wolfram Alpha will give you the exact answer that you want, thus saving a lot of time. Now they have a paid app for Windows, but if you want, you can just use their service for free on the web. Okay, now moving on. Every student needs to work on some assignments and projects, and that's where Grammarly comes in. Grammarly helps you improve your writing quality by identifying and correcting errors related to spelling, vocabulary, and even sentence structure. It offers add-ons that integrate with every browser and comes with features such as vocabulary enhancement, built-in grammar advice, and professional proofreading. What's more is that you can even install Grammarly as a plugin to Microsoft Office for easy usage. Now, speaking of Microsoft Office, not everyone can afford a copy of it, right? I mean, some laptops, the newer ones, do come with a copy of Office for Home and Student 2019, but most of you guys will be left without an official licensed copy of Microsoft Office. Well, why not check out LibreOffice? Unlike most office suits out there that offer only three alternative software to Microsoft, LibreOffice has Writer, Calci, Impress, Draw, Base, Maths, and Charts. It feels like a premium alternative to Microsoft Office, except that this is a free solution, and it's open source, which also means that there's a wide community supporting the project. Also, as you can already see, the software resembles Microsoft Office almost perfectly, and with full-fledged file compatibility, switching from Microsoft to Libre. Will be easy for most users. Alternatively, we also have another video talking about the best free alternatives to Microsoft Office. So, if Librate does not suit your taste, make sure to check that video out from the link in the description box. Lastly, we all need some good music to help focus. Now, I would personally suggest you to check out my own personal Spotify playlist. But jokes apart, a better alternative would be Noises. It works inside your browser and it allows you to play different ambient sounds, even mix and match them as per your liking. Personally, I prefer listening to raindrops and coastal wind, but you're free to choose your options as you like. Trust me, this is much better as opposed to spending hours in finding a specific playlist on YouTube or Spotify. And well, that was it. As always, you can find the download links to whatever software I mentioned down in the description box. Also, if you have any other doubts and queries or any suggestions for upcoming videos, make sure to sound up below, and I'll try and answer that ASAP. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.